Hi YouTube, Patrick here. Today I'm gonna do a review on our Vogue bench top dishwasher. I think it can be used on top of the bench or you can build it in like we did to the kitchen that I built. Check out the video uh, about the whole kitchen build and everything like that. All right, uh, but before we get into the review, please like and subscribe this video. All right, let's go. So we bought our um, Vogue dishwasher on a, at a company called Trade Depot. Um, and they're in New Zealand. I did a lot of researching about these underbench dishwasher drawer type model dishwashers. Um, and all of them were pretty expensive, probably around the 2,000, 1,500 mark, and really didn't want to spend too much on a dishwasher. But I did find this one, and I think it was under $300. Um, and it seems to work pretty good. So uh, let's get into the review. So we wanted a dishwasher that was good for doing cups, silverware, small plates, bowls, um, utensils, stuff like that. Um, and this, this thing actually works really great for that. We like doing all our big plates and pots and pans by hand, so that's really not a problem for us. But this is awesome for cups and silverware. So let me just explain the, um, the panel here in the front. So over here we have the power button, okay? And you can turn it on and then it automatically starts you on eco mode, which is two hours and 15 minutes. Um, that's just a lock button. This here is a timer and you can um, set a timer from anywhere from one to 24 hours for it to start automatically. So if you don't wanna listen to it while you're watching TV or you know things like that, you can start it to run in the middle of the night. Um, over here, we have a program button. And what that does is it, it gives you different programs. Uh, so, we have a glass program, which is run for an hour and 10 minutes. There's a 90 minute uh, delay one that'll go for hour and 30. And this is the cup mode, which we use. Um, it's the one of the quickest, it's 30 minutes. Um, and it seems to wash the plates and everything as well, really well. So we just always use the 30 minute mode. Um, so there's, yeah, all kinds of different programs on there, ranging from different times. Oh, that, I see the, the um, this end one here, this 15 minute one, is for washing fruits and vegetables. So obviously it probably runs at a, a colder setting. Um, so yeah, those are the programs. Over here we have a function. I mean, what that does is you can add different functions to the program you choose. So that's just a pot one. If you want to stick a big pot on there, you can uh, have a different pot function. This is a dry function. So at the end of the cycle, it will also dry what was in there. And then that's a timer, some kind of timer cycle. Um, yeah, so, and that's just the play button. So what you do is turn it on, pick your program you want, which we do 30 and then you just hit start and then it starts or you can turn it on, hit the timer, pick your program and then you're good to go. All right, so I'll show you what's going on on the inside of this thing now. On the inside here, we have um, the spot where you put the detergent. We started using the little um, blocks, but they didn't seem to dissolve very well. So we now use the powder and that works really good. And then this is for the liquid. Okay, um, so in here we have the, the drawer assembly. This actually I've cable tied down um, because it was kind of annoying to, um, to deal with. But it's like really falling over all the time and stuff. So um, I cable tied that down. Um, this whole thing is removable. And you can pull that out. And then in here we have like a filter media. You can pull that out and you can clean it. Um, I just did it a few days ago, maybe three or four days ago. So it's still pretty clean. Okay, and that just clips back in. Um, so yeah, that's all removable. You can clean it. And then we have the thing that spins around. Um, yeah, uh, pretty pretty straightforward, really. All right, so I'll show you how we load it up. All right, so in the back here, I usually put some small cups. Um, I'll just show you how we do it. Because I've got a nice load ready here. So small cups in the back, big cup. Big cup. does work super good on the cups and uh, you just have to make sure when this when it's completes its cycle that you open it otherwise the um, everything will just stay wet and 
and this is a pretty good feature here. You can clip, clip your cup on like that. So basically, I mean, you could probably fit a little more in there, but it's obviously gonna clean a lot better if you, you know, don't jam pack it. But even jam packed, it seems to clean pretty well. When you're loading this thing, you just wanna remember like putting stuff like uh, chopsticks into here and uh, I don't know, like skewers and stuff. You wanna put them upside down because uh, it'll fall through the slot and then it'll jam up the um, this thing. And then when that, if that thing gets jammed in the mid cycle or something, it doesn't dissolve the stuff. So you wanna make sure nothing's protruding below the rack and yeah, it always works pretty well. Okay, I'll start the cycle. Just put a little bit in. And it's good to go. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video uh, was pretty informative and helped you out. Um, be sure to check out the Trade Depot website, um, tradedepot.co.nz. And um, they have all kinds of cool things on there. We bought our toilet, uh, our oven, and uh, some other stuff. But um, the dishwasher is definitely an A-plus in my book. So um, please subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time, guys.